the choose function allows you to refer to particular cells depending on a choice made by the user. The choose function is very effective in replacing the if functions in certain situations. In this segment, you'll learn how to activate this function and use the choose function as a replacement for complex if functions. In this example, we are trying to work out the total revenue generated by multiplying the unit sold by the selling price. In the unit sold section, we have three possible scenarios. And in the selling price, we also have three possible scenarios. And what we'd like to be able to do is to type in the number of the scenario we want for units sold and for the selling price. And the spreadsheet must automatically calculate the total revenue. The simplest way to do this is to make use of Excel's choose command. So click in the cell where you want the result to be, activate the function wizard, and find the choose command. Click OK. In the first box, you need to indicate to Excel what cell will tell it what scenario has been chosen. So in this case, we are looking at the unit sold. So we want to be able to change this number here. Because it's going to be a constant reference to the cell, we need to make it absolute. Value 1 says, when the index number is 1, where must I pick up the number from? In this case, we want it to go to scenario 1, unit sold. If the index number is 2, we'd like it to point to this cell. And if it is 3, we'd like it to point to this cell. And then we can say OK we can copy it across. Now what you'll notice is that through here has been pulled scenario 1's details. If we went up here, change this to a 2, and if you watch down here as I push enter, you'll see it has now gone and chosen the second row to pull through, and similarly you can do it with the third row. We can do the same for the selling price. If you click in this cell, activate the function wizard, and find the choose command. The index number in this case is now the selling price scenario. And again, we make it absolute value. And in this case, if the selling price scenario is 1, we'd like it to refer to that cell. If it is 2, we'd like to refer to that cell. And if it is 3, we want it to refer to that cell. When we say OK, we can now copy it across in exactly the same way because the scenario is set at 1, it is pulling through this row and it's coming through here. If we change it to 2, you'll see it now pulls through this row and you can do the same with 3 and row 3 will come through. And you now have a way of being able to choose scenarios based on units sold and selling price to generate your total revenue.